gut strings were a big problem and because of this tuning stability because you're dealing with lamb gut sheep gut and those strings still exist out there but for the majority of the population people don't, don't even realize how much string innovation that we've had since the 50s in terms of what kind of metal substances and uh, materials that we use. Can you talk about some of the metals that are involved in the tuning stability and the string making at Yargar? Without revealing much? Yeah, and you, 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 could, you could say, when it comes to strings, you would say there are three, three, four main types of core use in the technology. And uh, it's, you could say, steel core, a solid steel core, which could be, you could say, different surfaces treated, the surface treated in different ways. You would say we use as a standard either templated steel core. Uh, then there's the, the synthetic core, which is a relatively modern technology. Uh, and was which was invented, you would say, you would say, Tomastic Infield in Vienna was one of the first companies to to introduce that with the dominance, um, and that was, you would say, you would say it was a revolution for music industry or for the boat instrument industry with the with the with the with the synthetic core because you had many of the same, you would say, features as you had for 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 gut strings. But you had the stability, you would say, much better tuning stability, playability, and easier to play with with the synthetic cores. And then, and then, of course, you also you do use uh, rope cores, but that's mainly for cellos and double bases, where where you use the rope core t- technology. Uh, and then, of course, and then, of course, the gut the gut strings. But you could say. What, what you would say most of the companies who's producing producing uh, you could say steel core synthetic core strings like we do at Yaga, they don't produce uh, uh, gut strings because it's a totally different technology. It's a different um, way of uh, of, uh, of especially making the gut core for the strings. You would say the winding process. Is of course the same, but the, the 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 you would say the science of creating the the gut core is different, um, and 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 you would say you you and then you would say a violin is of course a steel core, a plain steel core, nothing else you could say, um, but when it comes to the lower strings, they are always winded with. Them. One are several layers of it could be round wires, uh, flat wires, but always a flat wire on the top. And when you you would say when when especially as a violinist, you could say this this many has experienced the the difference of playing with the uh, with a, an aluminium wounded string and a silver wounded string. And this is, you would say, part of you, and it's not, you would say, it's not a, a you would say, kind of secret in in uh, in the business. But 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 you would say, with the aloe wounded strings, wound strings, you get this, you would say, more mellow, dark, warm sounding, and with the pure silver, you get a much more much more brilliant uh, uh, sound. Um, but but you would say when it when it comes you would say when when we are talking about flat wires you would say they are b- b- tiny 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 uh, you would say both in in the width and and uh, and the thickness of the of the flat wire, but you could say only small differences in the width and the thickness will change uh, mainly the you would say the the tension of the strings and therefore it will also change the sound that you hear both. Being an audience in the in 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 the in the hall, but also under your ear as a player. 